Yep. Yep. Okay. Good morning and welcome to day two of the Trans Hasman series. We're about to see game three of the women's series here. Kahu taking on Southern Terra. My name's Gus. I'm joined in the commentary box by Nick Lelly. How are you this morning, Nick? Good morning. Very well. Thanks, Gus. How are you? I'm oh, great, thanks. Sydney's really turned it on today. Oh, geez, there I am. Yeah, As Mercedes launches Ooh. it deep early to Emery, who takes it. Great grab. Looks downfield. Bit of a high release up there. Oh, great grab. Jazz Carpenter brings it down and punches it into Sage. There it is. Oh, Ooh. just out of the hands, unfortunately, there. Unlucky. <coughs> now, Nick, we are receiving a little bit of heckling here from the sideline. Oh, yes, as to be expected. Just trying to focus on the commentary as... Emma Thompson picks it, sorry, not Emma Thompson. Beth Thompson picks it up for New Zealand. See, Osmond in pursuit. Oh. But it's number 19, Lucy Parsons, who comes down with it for New Zealand. Great chase there, up the line. Oh. Oh, the, the pick up grab. And straight away from Risen and deep to Svensson. There's a great connection in yesterday, and it's paid off again here. New Zealand up one, one zip. Fantastic. Yeah. Zoe Reisner, I saw her yesterday, absolutely throwing some bombs down. Yep, yep. She had a great a great day yesterday. And it is a great day weather-wise today, Nick. Sure Beautiful is. sunny conditions. Yeah, I'd, 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 I'd say a cool, a cool 19, 20 degrees and uh, not a cloud in the sky. 20, 30% humidity maybe in there. Yep, yep. Sydney's really turned it on today. Currently 1-0. Of course, it is 2-0 in the... In the series, mm. New Zealand are up on aggregate. Uh, so not not playing for the series this morning, but they are still representing their country. Uh, the players out there today. And yeah, it, yeah, no doubt they'll be giving it their all, and uh, you know any opportunity to wear the green and gold or the uh, or the black will be uh, you know respected, and they'll they'll give it their all. The black and silver. The black and silver. New Zealand. Oh, sure. Not sure about that actually, but <laughs> Silver Ferns is something I've heard before. I'm gonna run with it. So Nick, you're obviously part of the uh, the Thunder setup. What are the boys doing this morning? Just lounging around, from what I can see. Yeah, look, trying to just get around the uh, the girls' team this morning, and uh, our game's on at um, on at 12, I think. So yeah, a bit of a slow morning, but the girls have been really good and cheering us on. So we'll try and uh, reciprocate that and. Uh, Really cheer him on. Hopefully get, get get a win in the series. Very true. The pull comes down to Georgia Birch. It's going to pick it up. Arva's in the middle. But the staring pass isn't quite there. It's going to go to Holly Reeve instead. Ooh. Just out of reach. Thompson to pick it up quickly. She's got Crosby on her right. But swings it over. Oh, great inside break there. To Abby Liddell, who hammers it over the top to Svinvanovic. Oh. That's a great... Great passage of play. Very there seems nice. to be a bit of a call there, though. Woody's waving his hands in the air. He's retracted and called a goal. Great hand signals there from Woody. <laughs> oh, how, do you, how do you rate the hammer look, Dibbles? That's, that's not a bad look. I mean, the, the, round, the, the pivot around backhand's always there, but mm -hmm. sometimes you just don't have the time. You've got to, you've got to pop it over. Yeah, when you've got to go, you've got to go. <laughs> you've got to go. I'm not sure if we'll get from Woody what those exactly those hand signals meant. He's looking... Like he's having a great time. <laughs> and aren't we all out here in Balmain today? Oh, sure are, sure are. Beautiful sunny day. Of course, if you're in Sydney, you definitely still have time to make it down. The little games we're having later today, we do have two more. The Australia A squad will be playing up next. And then after that, the Thunder Boys will be taking on New Zealand for the title. Yep. Won all in that series. Very exciting. New Zealand up 2-0 at the moment. Yeah, they're looking really good. Just watching the games yesterday, they just they just l really hit, love hitting that first break throw and then just boom, 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 and they're in. Really great flow on that offense. That's right, Liddell with the pull. Kylo changing the score for us. He's a man of many talents. Maths is definitely one of them. <laughs> Arva with the just now in the middle of the field. She's got eyes for Holly Reeve. Holly Reeve has eyes for her, and they make the connection. Reeve gets up well. And she's going to send it to Hannigan. He's got a few steps deep, and that's a great throw from Reeve. Very nice. A great catch from Hannigan, a beautiful deep cut. Nothing Sonny Zhao can do, really. 
The and Australians bring it back, 2-1. They're on the board. We're a game on our hands, Nick. Oh, sure do. 2-1. No one's changing the scoreboard over, unfortunately. Kylo's left. Might fall to Nick Hodgson. And he steps up to the plate nicely. Well done, Nick. Great form. Now, Gus. Yeah. What, um, what are your thoughts on these, on these jerseys? First time I've seen this style. They're just freshly yep. made for this series. Yep, fresh, li fresh off the press yep. from Five Ultimate, <laughs> Ultimate Australia's uh, uni uniform sponsor. Yep. Look, uh, I'm a fan. They're definitely bright colours. You can see them from a long way away. Really helped me identify the field this morning. <laughs> uh, I think I think the uh, the, sh the shorts are great. Yeah. I'm liking the uh, I'm liking the green and gold. I like seeing the green the sea of green and gold, Nick. When uh, when both squads have their jumpers off. Yeah. It's looking pretty good. Good work out there from Sharon Carpenter. Shannon Carpenter, sorry. <laughs> I called you Sharon. My mistake. <clears throat> Chaz has forgiven me. And the disc is going to come up now from KB, Kirsten Banks. <laughs> KB's giving it a rip. The sideline getting a bit loud here. The Australians. It's going to float over to number 14, Emma Doyle, who centers to Thompson. It's like an isolation. Oh, and the D comes off. I think it was Della there in hot pursuit of Reisner. Yep, Kirsten Banks. picking up the frisbee. Launches it oh, over the top. Big shot. Oh, Ooh. the basketball player, number 23, Sophie Charnstrom. Ooh. Unlucky. Couldn't quite bring that one down. Frisbee player now. That's right. And we have this isolation of uh, Zoe Reisner out in the lane again. Della tied on her for the Australians. I guess oh, the D. Block. It's a great D from Della. Looking very strong out there, the Australians, this morning. KB, surely to pick it up, just taking her time, surveying the options. Looking very composed. Della tries to get a bit of isolation. Goes back to Thea Osmond. No, sorry, Aaron King. Oh, just a hand on that one. Unlucky not to complete that pass there, the yeah, Australians. Yeah, it was nice composure in front of the end zone rather than just trying to punch it in, swung it around a little bit, but just unlucky on that last shot there. Unfortunately, the sideline is obscuring our view a little bit here, Nick. Yes. Good to see a passionate sideline. Not so good for us to actually see the field, though. Someone's bringing it in. I think it's Thompson. He's under a lot of pressure here. Oh, we've got vision. Doily lets it rip to number 25. Farron Halliday. Goal. Great name, Farron Halliday. <laughs> a fine name. <laughs> a good fine name. <laughs> and some of these deep shots coming off are just so nice. They're just coming off. They're not too fast. Yeah. Some of our boys' games could take a lot of notes from here. We've just been ripping them way too hard. No doubt, He's no doubt. Throws great for catching. Yep. The wind has uh, cut out a little bit this morning. It was a bit gusty yesterday. Yeah. Now, Nick, there's been a lot of talk in the commentary box about the different approaches on the line from the New Zealand and Australian teams. Australia very much doing the whole whole squad yeah. down there on yeah. the Neil boys as well. New Zealanders, they are doing it at the, at the moment, but uh, the boys like to do just, just the seven on the line and the coach. Oh. Yeah, interesting approach. Interesting approach. Uh, we, of course, do have the coaches here for the New Zealand Kahu team, Ian Stewart, Sally Neal. Manager Rhea Mildenhall. Sorry to the Mildenhall family for any mispronunciations there. And uh, we've been asked, Nick, to give a bit of a shout out to Ian Stewart's kids, Oscar and Ella, who've been watching along at home. Oh, sure. So always happy to give a shout out. <laughs> hey? Uh, yeah, okay. Mark Palmer's uh, really pushing a bit of an agenda here. He wants Ulti TV to get to Mix Nats in New Zealand. So if you're uh, high up in the New Zealand Ultimate community, and you can make that happen. Yeah, get in touch. As the pull comes up, Carpenter to receive, sent us to Mueller. First cut coming from Lovell. Not very jinky, just a straight line run from Lovell. She has the pace. Mueller gets it again and jacks it. That's what we want to see. Emery underneath it. Sunny's out pursuit. Great but read. Emery reads it fantastically. Loves the defender in. 
peels off the back. It's a great one, that one. Just the, the go in. Yeah. The go in where you're not going to jump for it. Just makes the defender kind of slow down a lot. The old peel off the back. Through, the yeah. old, uh, how's your father? Oh. Bit, uh, bit, uh, bit in, bit out. But, uh, there you go. Bob's your uncle. Yep. No doubt. As we see again on the, this replay, Mueller gets, gets it in power position. She's the kind of girl you want in power position because she lets them rip. Beautiful sit. Uh, great read there from Emery. Gets up high. Nice grab. Two returning players for Terra. Yep. They do have 11, I believe. Uh, Not fact-checked. <laughs> but pretty sure. Pretty confident in 11. So a lot of young Australian girls gaining a bit of experience, which is great to see. How many returners do you have with uh, Thunder? Um, I think five is one of is the number I'm hearing. Five. Yeah, so it's so a nice little core there, but um, outside of that, a lot of experience through youth nats. Yeah, I think it's just really helped boosted the um, the youth ultimate in Australia because you get a lot of tournament, you get some, a tournament experience and like a high level one of that as well. So all these boys coming into this camp have, you know have been exposed to learning structures over camp and then executing them in game. So it's, uh, it's fantastic to see and the quality is just getting better all the time. That's right. It is 3-2 now. New Zealand is up by one. But as we know, Nick, that's not many. <laughs> it in is fact, not. it's the lowest amount you can be up by. Just the one. <laughs> Rachel Joyce giving us a bit of a look on the <laughs> sideline, which I'm not, not too appreciative uh, of. That's Holly... Pulls down the frisbee. And it is uh, Crosby with the disc now. She does have the throws, Crosby. Hits it under to Risen, but it just floats over the top. Indeed. So that was Parsons looking to get it under. Banks is going to pick it up for Australia. Reeve in the dump space. It's a dangerous combination behind the disc. Looks to center. Reeve gets free with relative ease. Just looking for the next option. Hits Burchett. Georgia Burchett under a little bit of pressure, but hits Banks. Now the question, Nick, is where's Holly Reeve? <laughs> in the dump space. Wanting it deep. Oh, in the dump space. The disc goes up. Carpenter in pursuit. Oh, Ooh. unfortunate there. I think the line, the, the back end zone line may have been a factor in that one. Yeah, the fields aren't massive. Crosby bringing it up. Definitely, because the field's aren't massive, definitely could throw the whole field. Yeah. Crosby. She's got yeah. the throws. And she does have a deep threat in Svidvanovic. It's not going to come, though. Georgia covering that nicely. Just moves around in the dump space with Thompson. Some great lockdown defensive pressure on this side of the field. And as we see, another turn. Really earned downfield, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Shut down those options and then a bit of... Thanks with it. she got Jelenic straight away. Oh, it's a bit floaty. Bit of space. Nice and she read. takes it. It's three apiece. Oh, oh but there's a pick call. Oh, pick call. Great hand signals from the New Zealanders. They are much better at hand signals than us, I would say, <laughs> by and large. You can learn a thing or two from our, mm. our, our mm. friends from across the ditch. That's some lovely planes going over here. <laughs> sure is, big. You can't see them on the camera as Banks puts it over the top. It's a floaty disc. But it's deep by Svidvanovic. She's been a deep machine the last few days. Deep threat as well. She jogs on. I wouldn't be surprised reason. if another turn here with this defensive pressure that's been coming down from Terra. Quite difficult. Holly Reeve is kind of sitting in the lane here making that throw difficult, but it does get off. Oh, there it goes. To Parsons, who sends it high to Svidvanovic. I think it's just going to float out. Yeah. Again, good pressure there from Terra, making it very difficult for the New Zealanders to get it moving. Kirsten's going to pick up the frisbee. Banksy. Play from the far side. <laughs> Play from the far sideline. Not the Banksy. Just a Banksy. Coming into the field. Well, you never I know. suppose we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great throw there from Banks. Carpenter finds Reeve, who's going to find the end zone, I think. Unfortunately, he finds the hand of number two, That's Bianca cool. Mercer, with a great point block. Holly Reeve been instructed to get it back, and I think she's going to. Oh, unfortunately, just drifts over there. Comes to Mercer. Got a few options downfield. Looks to dump back to Crosby. 
Gets it under some pressure from Jelenic. Oh, and Hudson, guys. you got Thompson deep. Oh! oh. Number nine, Miriam. Miriam Ms. Downey whacks it out of the air. Great Downey, I think work. she got a bit uppy there, Nick. <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> yeah, Miriam Downey with a great D there. A lot of, lot of smacking of the disc this series. It's great to see. Holly Reeve just kind of drifts through the stack there. Surprised wasn't a pick. She's got a few options deep, but she's going to put it to Yellick. Oh, just too far. Fortunately, no float on that one. Quite a zippy blade. Yeah, still is a little bit of wind, just pushing that frisbee down. Oh, and Holly goes for the poach, but she's left her player wide open. And it does now and go to Mercer. Been exploited. That's a great throw, looking for Mercer. Oh, good Looks holster. That initiative option. Reeves is now on the mark. Terra's back on. They center it back. Center around number, number 88. 88. Mia Mance. Maya Mance, sorry. Ooh. Oh, good bid there from KB. Second layout of the tournament. It is Parsons with the disc. She's looking back to Mance. He wants Parsons again, I think, but settles for the dump to Crosby. It's good shut down defense downfield. Oh, no one gets out. And they flip it to the break side. Patient offense there from New Zealand. Really, really patient. That all came from Holly Reeve drifting off her play, looking for that yeah. poach block, and New Zealand quick to exploit. That's such a maturity to that play there, to just to have the huck go up, yep. to catch it, and to not just then try and just punch it in within the first couple seconds. Yeah, good hold here from Parsons. Patient, waits for the option in Svidanovic. Svidanovic? Yeah, Nick. Look, the commentary team have been having a bit of trouble with Helena Svidanovic's name. Apologies. Helena Svidanovic. Doing our best Svid here in the box. Nick's going to have an attempt. Svidanovic. Okay. Not sure about that one. <laughs> we'll add it to the list of possible permutations of pronunciation. We've had a few. Mm. Bit of a timeout call here, Nick. Yep. I was wondering if you could tell uh, myself and the listeners at home a bit about what's going to happen after this trans Hasman campaign. Yeah, so... Um, so the whole kind of, uh, I guess, point, so we have the development teams as well as just the, um, the, team, the international teams here. And I think that's just looking, really looking towards uh, the Junior Worlds in Canada next year. So it's about having, rather than just the 20 athletes playing against New Zealand, you, you increase out to 30 and therefore just have a more exposure within the talent pool and um, come, come tryouts for the international team, you know, everyone's been exposed to an uh, international camp and um, you just increase the talent pool and just, yeah, great, you yeah. know, results in be better quality ultimate and more exposure for, because I think that's really important for uh, junior players is to become exposed to kind of high level play and high level kind of coaching and, and, and instructions and learning what it's like and what it's going to be like to try out for the, um, for Terra, Terra or Thunder yep. and, um, what it'd be like to play for one of those teams. So I think it's a, a great initiative. That's true. And uh, it is, of course, 2-0 in the series to New Zealand. Yeah. But uh, what you just said there really paints the picture that there is still a lot of value in this game. Yeah, we were, we were, we were told at the start of this, um, at the start of this camp uh, not too much to focus on the result. Obviously, we're, we, you know, it's, it's, we're, playing, we're playing to get the win, but um, really looking, w looking towards that development of uh, as many people as possible and um, just looking, looking at the bigger picture in terms of for Worlds next year. So I think that's, pretty, that's a pretty cool thing to be a part of. Yeah, it's a, it's a great program. 4-2 at the moment. New Zealand in the lead. Looking pretty, uh, pretty calm. They you do, think they they'd do be a bit good, yeah. tired though, New Zealand, because they do have... Let me do some quick maths here, Nick. They do have, only have 14 players. Yeah. Two lines of seven. Well, I still, you still see them just all sprinting to get onto the line. So yep. they're, loving, they're loving their frizz. Yeah. And, uh, how could you not on a day like this? Beautiful day. Bit hot, in my opinion. <laughs> For us, yes, it's us pasty fellows. Sun is a little bit strong. It's getting dangerous. I'm unfortunately uh, not in the Ulti TV budget to get a, a nice big shade tent over the commentary booth. So we are <laughs> exposed to the elements here. Mike Palmer's got the shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> Swings over to... Sophie Chanstrom who hits Mercedes on the under. Not going to attempt Mercedes' last name. Janacek. Janacek. Thank you, Nick. Bit of movement here. Dump back to Arva. Mueller with the disc in hand is always a threat and she is going to pump it deep to Rachel Joyce. RJ, can she read it? She can't, but Emma Hannigan can. <laughs> 
Got a few options. Dumps it back to Ava. That's good patience. Oh, oh zips a nice it grab. In. Zips it in and Lovell plucks it out of the sky. <laughs> That's great clean offense from the Australians. Didn't really look like turning it. Oh, so yeah. Plenty of bodies under the disc on that huck as we see on yeah, the replay. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's a high, high floater. Almost into uh, domestic airspace there. Hmm. We are under a flight path. Hannigan reads it well. Good patience. Dump and swing. A real snag there from Lovell. Capital C, Hands clinical. Hands glue. Beautiful. Capital C, ain't he? Yep. Yep. All in capitals or just, just, the, just the C? Just not the quite, C. Not quite all capitals yet. Four three now. The buffer not really getting much bigger than two points from the New Zealanders. The Australians mm. still in the hunt. Some technical adjustments from Terra. Yeah, I think it, the uh, the dynamic of the Trans Tasman is uh, interesting compared to, I guess, a, I guess a tournament format where you might you might play a team usually once, maybe twice. But um, here, you know, you're playing them three times within two days. Yeah. And it really, like, I think the tactics of it can get quite interesting because you start to really get to know the other team and really get to know what they like, who are their, who are their throwers, stuff like that. So the tactical side of it becomes uh, a big part of it. It is crossing with the disc now. She's one of their main throwers. Goes to Parsons, who oh, doesn't mind a rip. Ooh. Liddell screaming deep. She wanted it. Thompson with it now finds Liddell. A flick around to Forsyth. Great throw. Comes up. That's a great throw. And that was caught by Bridget Forsyth, 14 years of age, the youngest player yeah. involved rocking in this trans series. Rocking some cornrows. Rocking some cornrows. There's been some great hair out in this series. Cornrows mm. with a capital C, eh? Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't know about that one. Yep, great hair dudes. Who's who in your personal opinion, Nick? Obviously you are you are a bit of a hairy man yourself. I am. Pretty noteworthy hairstyle. Who in your opinion has the best hair? I think mean, You can say yourself. <laughs> but everyone at home will judge you. <laughs> uh we got Georgia with the with the dreads yeah, coming out. They dreads look pretty cool. They look great. Tom Tom on uh on the development squad's got some great long hair. Bit of a bit of a, a brown fading to blonde at the end there. It's fantastic to see. <laughs> yeah. If you'd like to see these hairstyles in person, you can make your way down to Callum Park, Darling Street, Balmain, it's under a few names on Google Maps. Go to After for a more exact name. It is five three. New Zealand extending that buffer out again. A yeah. windless offensive point ahead for the Australians. I think it's, yeah, I think the Aussies are really trying to put that pressure on, but it's just New Zealand's offense have just, have just looked very, um, very cool, calm, collected with the disc in hand, and uh, it's tricky. The disc is coming up from Reisner, gives it a rip. It's going to be received by Mueller. She's in quite a lot of space there. Her Centering pass is available and it's a zone look. We've seen this a bit from the New Zealanders. So straight away to Palmer. Zia Palmer from Western Australia. Getting crashed a bit by that cup, but Mueller's the bailout. She doesn't mind hucking it. The number 11, Sasha Presley, who's in the hunt there maybe. Just a little bit out of her reach. The New Zealanders go the other way. Ooh, a bit of a fumble from Thompson. And the Australians allowed to set up I think it's just going to be a match defense. Yeah, it Not looks like it. Zone. So if you charge him in a bit of a strange position in that dump space, might make it a bit difficult if it goes there, but it doesn't. Oh. It goes to Rachel Joyce. Oh. Gets a full hand on it. Bounces out of the palm. Couldn't quite get it on the second attempt either. Rachel Joyce has been taking some absolute snags this weekend. Nick, some great grabs. She's been looking fantastic. She has been playing fantastic, yep. Oh, Thompson burns her defender. Hits that up the line pass to Sheridan. Got a few options. Hits Fivanovic, who also has a few options. There's, there's a lot of options out there. 
Thompson gets it back on the reset. Oh, Mercer burns her player. Unfortunately, been to the disc by Reisner. They all want it out there, the Kahoo girls. Mm. They want that disc. He swings over to Sheridan in the middle of the field. Works it through Mercer. Sends it to Sivanovic. Lovely. Comfortably done there from the New Zealanders. Yeah, they just really look so easy when they're out there, don't they? Didn't look in a lot of trouble on offense. That is Helena Split. Svidvanovic from Hutt Valley High School is the information I have here, Nick, which is in w Wellington. Hmm. 15 years of age, so also a young player. Doing really well out there. Catching goals all over the place. I think that's back-to-back. Svidvanovic. Oh, no, not quite back-to-back, quite back -back, but definitely caught a lot of goals this morning, today. I'm not sure over the weekend, as the crowd starts to... Uh, just slowly building, slowly isn't it? build from good to see from the corners of the oval. Good to see the uh, Sydney Ultimate community. No corners on an family. oval, but I suppose there is. <laughs> Not an actual oval, but on this one we got we got some some sharp edges. There's no doubt about it. Six three now. Three point difference, the biggest of the game so far. So what do you think, Gus? The uh, the uh, Aussie girls can do a bit. Uh, to get back into this game a bit more. Well, they're getting a lot of disc. Yeah. Forcing the New Zealanders to make a lot of passes, which they do seem comfortable doing at the moment. So yeah. maybe just really stepping up the intensity on that match defense. Yeah, they looked really good a couple points ago when they just they just really switched it on and uh, put that pressure on and then cause a lot of turnovers. Hochi, look now. Carpenter threads the needle to Della. That's a great pass. That is Shannon, not Raya. Goes up to level, eats it. And looks off Mercedes down the line. Looks off Della down the line and dumps it back to Banks. Wants that flick. Hits Della. Hannigan was nearly getting free of a the player there. Banksy has it. Looking comfortable. Rips it through to Mercedes. Oh, just not quite enough float there. I thought that was maybe going to drift did, it did into look the like hands an, yeah, of Jelenic. A nice look to that break side. Just unlucky as they set up on the uh, match defense. Let's say he's taking out under space and uh, oh, did well Zoe to stop the under. Along, yeah. Got burnt deep a little bit, but it didn't matter because oh. Oh, Della having a sniff in there. But great catch from Farron Halliday under the pressure. Of Della, and it goes deep now to Spenston. Oh. Lovell with the D. I think there's going to be talk about it. No. No. Nah. Clean D. Bit of contact, there's no doubt about it, but it's I think right, Lovell was in the space yeah. first. Both players happy to play on. Carpenter to bring it in. Which one's that, Nick? That's, that'd be Shaz. Nice. <laughs> not, a guess, not a guess. It's Lovell. Oh, high release around. Oh, a nice Hannigan grab. snags it. Despite Crosby. Rocking the rolled up sleeves look. Sure. That's uh, Oh, hits that break side. Oh. No singlets anymore, Nick. Singlets are not, not allowed in Ultimate Australia, I don't think, at national events. Oh. So uh, you gotta do what you can to get the guns out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the sleeve roll up. We've got someone open deep, number fifteen. Crosby just but looking for that dump back to Doyle. Yeah. Looks like a bit of a straight up. Thing. 7-4 New Zealand are going to look to break here. Take half with a bit of a buffer. But if the Australians can claw a few, bra few back before the break, it's a very different game. Mm. Haven't seen much of, I'd say, some of the bigger players on Terra in um, Arba Mueller and Holly Reeve in this game. Quite a game from Reeve. Yeah. But they're, they're both on the field at this point. We'll see, see if they can generate some turns and then uh, stingray magic they can work it up. Yeah. 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 Terra have been doing a great job of playing through all their players. You're welcome, whoever said thank you. Kron's nodding. Arva to receive it. Hits Banks. Back to Arva. Reeve wants it straight away. Oh, inside break oh, comes out from Arva. It's a great throw. I think Reeve was already planning the next throw. Yeah. Had eyes for the end zone before catching it. Thompson to pick it up. She's got eyes for the end zone as well. out 
25, Farron Halliday. Cramped with it a little bit on the sidelines. Good mark, Lovell trying to stop Thompson up the line, but can't. On the doorstep now, the New Zealanders. Look at Ooh. Central. Ooh, now looking back up the line. Sherman, dump space. Got to stay with your dump. Oh, that's a good snag there from Farron Halliday. Oh, but this is still called from Sage. Of course, if uh, Sage Lovell on the mark got the tuh sound out, mm. that would be a stall out. Um, just a bit of discussion now. Woody's not far away. Were you counting, Nick? Uh, nope. Uh, you always got to be counting in the commentary box. <laughs> Contested so stall. First time, first time. Contested stall. I think it's going to come in at nine. I think he comes in on eight. Eight? No, no. Woody's holding up nine fingers. No. What? Seven fingers on this. <laughs> okay, <laughs> pops it over the top. Regardless, it, we've while, got we were, goal. while we were squibbling about the uh, the what stall the disc was coming in, Thompson pops it over to Mercer, and that is half time. Half time. Thanks, Maddie. Maddie are kind of letting us know in no uncertain terms that it is half time. We are to stop commentating. Half time. Now, Nick. There is a little bit of a lull here during half time. Uh, it's time for the players to get some water. I was wondering if I could ask you. Sure. This is your third Trans Tasman campaign. It is. Which is a bit of a ridiculous achievement when you consider that they're two years apart. So, six years ago, you played your first ever Trans Tasman campaign. I was just wondering how this one compares to the last two. Yeah, well, the first, first one was just a um, at the uh, Youth Nationals. New Zealand came along to play. And uh, then it was just a. The green and gold team selected then to play New Zealand at the end of the tournament. So that was just the one game for that one. And then two years after that, it was in New Zealand, in Auckland, and you, you yourself played that, that tournament. And that was a uh, very similar format to this, so um, three games over two days. And, um, yeah, got the got the win both the times. So... And we'll see. We'll so see Nick, if we can get it, retain the uh, retain undefe the trophy. Undefeated in Trans Tasman series, are you, Nick? Yeah, oh, outstanding. Thanks to uh, Ultra TV for for streaming this game, giving the the players a bit of a video that they can show their mates when they get back to school. Yeah, I think it's it's always an exciting thing to be able to just watch yourself play frisbee. <laughs> yeah. Um, of course, if you're you know. Have a big of an ego as we do, Gus. We, Pretty big, yeah. We, we, we do well, several times a week. But, um, Actually, on that, Nick, in the last Trans Hasman campaign we played, uh, New Zealand were filming it, yeah. yet to get the game footage. <laughs> so it, went, it went missing. So maybe we go a huge through, controversy. Maybe we can go through Eden Stewart's kids, the only people in New Zealand we are confident are watching. Oscar and Ella, Stewart. Yep. Talk to your dad about maybe organising that footage. <coughs> but it is half. 8-4. 8-4, the series is 2-0 to New Zealand. Mm. I think the Australians are going to want a big second half. Yeah, another another shout-out for Eden's children. That makes it three Ella, for the morning. Ella and Oscar. They're really well liked in the ultimate community, clearly. Good morning <laughs> to you. We've had three separate requests to have them shouted out to. Yeah, so you Oscar, names, I hope you're doing names. well. <laughs> I wouldn't, how, how would you feel, Gus, about a... Um, We've got the Trans Tasman's been going on for, as you say, six years at the at the youth level. But to get it going oh. at an under twenty fours or a, and even an opens age level, that's a can of worms. I think that would be uh, <laughs> got the tick of approval from Mike Farmer. He's <laughs> giving us a big old yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be great to see. Great to see, even a uh, unfortunate opportunity missed maybe with the uh, the World Games team. Could maybe assemble a uh, an elite New Zealand mixed squad. Perhaps, yeah. I think it's, uh, it's important to build this connection across the Dutch. Yep. Because, of course, Europe and uh, Europe and the US are allowed to play with each other quite often. So it'd be good to get some, some regional connections happening. Yeah, I think that was one of the big initiatives with the, uh, with the Australia World Games team playing the Japan World Games team in, that, in the test match, trying to get that, that, get that format happening a bit more, such as this one, just the, the isolated um, series. And so just a bit more regular international frisbee for... For the for, viewer. For, the, for, for, for you, the, the, the viewer of this oh, right. broadcast. Now, Nick. Yeah. I know you're a big cricket fan. How's that? <laughs> I won't embarrass you by uh, asking what the name of the Australian-New Zealand 
uh, test match series is the Chapel Hadley Trophy. Sure. Two great Australian and New Zealand cricketers. Yeah. What would the Australian Open Level Test Match Series be called? Oh, the... Um, <laughs> don't say so it like, You could name it after someone, but I don't... No, I, I want an Australian player and a New Zealand player. Okay. The... The... Um, <laughs> <laughs> But for people who can't see Nick, which would be everyone but oh, me, no, 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 there's really no, floundering there's no one, no one like has is like retired and is like, you know, was a great. What about Potsy? Oh, the, <laughs> <laughs> the Pots Fisherman Trophy. Yeah, uh, Zem Fisherman is the only the name Pots, from New Zealand Ultimate that I, that I Pots, really know. The Pots Fish. Pots Fish. Hashtag Pots Fish if you want that to happen. So if we can get that trending online. Send it viral, yeah, Nick. That's I'd what all the kids I'd, are doing. I'd love to see some. Um, some open age trans Tasman action because with the um, you know the uh, World Ultimate Guts Championships only only happening every four years, it um it would be great to get some get some more action. That's right. That was quite a long half time, Nick. It mm. Felt like it went a long time. Maybe it's just because we were being a bit boring. Perhaps. Really felt those minutes pass. Trickle. Bye. You're with the disc now. We're going to come back. Australia coming out on D. Hoping All to right. see a different look. I'm feeling the terror come back. Oh, yeah. Bold prediction. Let's hear it. All it takes is on this defensive. Bit of pressure. Get the turn. Punch it in. And we're away. A big run. The momentum we've seen throughout this series has been shifting back and forth. Terra went on a big run in the first game yeah. to, uh, to bring it back to Universe. Definitely capable of doing it again. All it takes is a passionate sideline, oh, yeah. a good pull, a good rundown, and all of yeah. a sudden New Zealand are under a heap of pressure. Yeah. One play and there it is. Arva with the disc. <laughs> there it is. Arva with the disc now. She gives it a rip. That is Abby Liddell to receive it. Send us to Crosby. Three handlers back for the New Zealanders. Oh! oh! Bit of a casual there cut there is. from Parsons. There it is. Carpenter capitalises. Just needs someone on that break side, I think. It's now Raz Carpenter with the disc. Still with the disc. Centers it to Mueller. And that breaks the goal. And here we go, Gus, man. <laughs> All of a sudden. All of a sudden. We've got a game on our hands. It's 8 5. Five. Bada bing, bada boom. Is. Tron. Oh, bit of a casual move. Oh, Raz Carpenter with the up. disc. Someone. It's everyone, I guess. Still with the disc. <laughs> Indiscriminate hype. Tron's MO. Centers it to Mueller. What does MO stand for? Modus operandus. What is that? It's a, uh, it's the term. There you go. Just a bit of, just a bit of lingo. Expanding the vocabulary on a, on a Sunday morning here. Nothing like main. it. Hey, there's always an opportunity to learn. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Right, another big defensive pressure here from Terra. Could really, could really turn this game around. Reeve on the field. Mercedes, King. Might even be a bit, a bit more down weird, I'd say. Only there running. Let's do the grass test, Nick. Sure. Some nice grass. But that's not what we're testing. We're testing the wind. It is drifting, if it's drifting at all, from right to left on your screen, across the field, away from the camera. It's very gentle, a very mild breeze. Reeve. Gives it a rip, and as you can see, it's not really kite throwing, kite flying weather with that pull. Not a lot of movement from the wind. Oh, the disc is oh. up, just floats oh. out of the hands of Reisner. I'm not sure if it was intentional from the Australians. They've got the D. Ree picks it up, wants to get it moving, hits Mercedes underneath. Ree've been commanded to run oh. all the way around Mercedes, and unfortunately, it doesn't come off. Just need a bit more of a, more of a dish than a. Bit of a bit of a bullet. Yeah. 
Oh, the big throw. Big to throw from Crosby to Svidvanovic. Right. She's in space. She brings Goal. it down. She's been on fire. Mercedes with a valiant effort on D. Yeah, unfortunate there for the Australians. Bit of a miscue. I do like seeing the pointing, though, Nick. The, the, the point, point from Mercedes and from Holly. The point and shoot. It's, um, I mean, in, in essence, you think, it, you think it's silly as the defensive players can just go, oh, that's where they're going to throw it. But it really just adds that extra salt into the wound of <laughs> just doing a great throw. It's been, I told you what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah. You still couldn't stop it. This is your fault, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're just going to apologise for some uh, technical difficulties before half time. Hopefully, the stream's up and running again. We've got our screen back. And the Australians, 9 5. Looking pretty good. It's a bit of a shout out now, Nick, yep. to the Della family. Mr. and Mr. Della at home watching along. Oh, Lisa Della right there on the camera, giving us a wave. She's playing great today. Mueller to receive the pull straight to Carpenter. Oh, it's a bit of a zone look. Yeah, non zone look. Both Carpenters on the field. That's got to be confusing for the defense. It's definitely confusing Ooh. for the commentary box. Shaz with a bit of a miscue. Yeah. To Svenston. Straight away to Sheridan. New Zealanders looking to get it moving. Bit of a run and gun. Reisner holding it now. Oh, piercing throw to Svenston. Straight away to 25, Farron Halliday. And it's just, at times so tough as a, when you turn it over and the other team can just score so, with such ease and. It's almost easier with, uh, with the kind of setup like this to be playing defense, I think. Yeah. A lot of pressure coming out on offense. Yeah. Again and again. Each, each point you feel like it's more important that you score the next one. Yeah, that's right. Really adds up over time. Playing, playing with something to lose a little bit. <coughs> and as the uh, crowd is continuing to build. Yeah, and it's uh, just building up. Of course, Lockie White's here with his posse. So that's good for the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> and, for the, and for the atmosphere. Oh, yeah. It really adds a lot. Yeah. I'm sure he's got a great story from Saturday night, as he always does. He does. He's a man with many exciting Saturday nights under his belt. He's an exciting player, but let's stop talking about him because he's not involved in this game. It is 10-5. New Zealanders with the disc. Might as well, Nick. Bit of a lull. Shout out to Oscar and Ella, Ian Stewart's kids <laughs> once again. Bring it up to number four. Thanks for watching. And shout out to anyone who's watching, actually. It's uh, great to see all the support coming in from yeah, the Ultimate I'll community for these young athletes. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind. It's a Sunday morning. If I wasn't playing, I'd be at home having, a, having my cereal, give a, give a cup of coffee, <laughs> watching the morning game. It would be fantastic. This goes up now. It's going to be caught by Holly Reeve. He's going to go backwards to Arbor. No, she's not. She decides that's a strange thing to do and doesn't do it. Zone look. Australian's a bit slow to set it. I think we're going to see some bailout hucks here from the Australians. They're happy to work it for the time being. Arva, oh, faking that hammer. Love to see it. Happy to work with a Stingray teammate, Holly Reeve, at the moment. In fact, they're not really looking for anyone else. Now, Jess Emery has it, looking downfield. Ooh, catching Smart. traffic from Sage there. Yeah, a lot of traffic. Pops it up to Arva. That's peak hour. Oh, Mueller there with a is. fat blade over to Zia Palmer. That is a great throw from Mueller. Great shot. Visionary, well executed. 10-6. Now this is what Terra want. They want to be on D. They want to come out, get a nice early block, punch yeah. it in. It's a very different game. Got a uh, similar line coming down, using some of their big players, hoping just to 
bring back this game a little bit. Yeah, close to the same seven, I think. Both Carpenter twins on. It's going to be always a fun time. Playing along at home. Shazzle Raz, very fun game. <laughs> Won't give it away by telling you who's who. Mule with the pull. It's going to give it a big rip, I reckon. It's a nice polite nod there from Jess Emery as she walks past. Great point from her. Mueller with the pull. And that is a big rip. All the, the way charge. to the end zone. Oh, Holly Reeve leading the charge. Comes in hot Absolutely to Sheridan. Down. Crosby with the disc. Oh, no, maybe not zone, but Pochi, look. Ooh. Just threads the needle to Farron Halliday. Oh, and again, and straight through that hole. Working it. Uh, New Zealanders have broken through. Trying to capitalise. Halliday with the disc. Over to Sheridan. Again. His throw has just been superb. Parsons with the disc now. Crosby makes a, a cut quite close to it, but gets the disc anyway. Pops over the hammer. That's what we want to see. Hannigan's the only one oh, underneath nice. it for Australia. <laughs> it's a good look. And an opportunity here to bring it back, perhaps. I like seeing the hammer. Regardless of the outcome. <laughs> Mueller picks it up. Hopefully to bring us a hammer. Big smile on her face. It's good to see. Still having a good time out there. Oh, jog up to the line for Pleasure. a quick huck. Oh. Yes! Sage in pursuit. Oh, it's just going to float. Is Sage going to get there? Oh, valiant bid there from Sage Lovell. Bit of a layout. Just floated, didn't it, that disc? It was a great shot. Swings over to... We've awesome. seen the zone set up again. Pochi, look, they're trying to take yeah, away those unders. A, we're a saggy, uh, saggy cup here. And yep. Two players in the deep space as well, really just trying to stop that, stop New Zealand's deep game going on. Parsons with the disc, swinging over to Sheridan. Swings over again to Abby Liddell, who punts it. Yes! Over the head of Ooh. Hannigan. It's a great throw to Sunny Zhao. Fantastic throw. But Zhao just really gave it a zip. Yeah. Unlucky from Hannigan. Yeah, just got caught a bit a bit running backwards. Hard yeah. to jump in that position. Wrong footed. Not easy to jump. Have to kind of do a backflip, don't you? Yeah. We well can't all do. American football. Jumping backwards. Grabs. Here we go. Hannigan. Yeah, just... Oh, not far away, actually. Uh, diff very difficult, yeah. though, with the footwork. Yeah. To, uh, to get up from that position. Well, I, I will say, in, in, in regards to your questions earlier in terms of the uh, other trans Tasman, the quality of play has just increased yeah. exponentially. Gone, maybe not exponentially, but increasing each time. You know, it's just so cool to see just more and more people um, playing and even people in the development team, although it, you know is, is considered like the development team, some class players, and really just vying for those spots for the world teams as well. It's just it's going to be a competitive selection event. Yeah, for sure. Reisner with the pull. We know she can throw it pretty far. She can. She does. Be received by Ms. Downey. Ooh, looks off a centering pass to Osmond. Hits Birchett on the under. Now it's with Osmond. Oh, great inside throw to Emery. That's a fantastic inside break. And oh, Emery no. with an around break. Let's see another one, Mercedes. Another break, please. Nice. Through the gap. Oh, unlucky. Just cramped a little bit. Uh, dumps well marked. Yeah, it's a bit of the... Uh, Last game of the tournament, throwing. Mercedes is coming from uni games as well. Yeah, it's been a big week for Mercedes. Yeah. Doyle with the disc. Mercedes doing well on that mark. Della, great up the line D. Oh. Oh, but it's a good throw and a good dump cut. And New Zealand is on a run here. Reisner hits Vidvanovic. And she's there again. She's there again. 
Look out. Look out, Fitzville. Oh, four, I've lost five. count. I've lost count. Is someone doing stats? Is that, is that 12 or 11? I haven't done it in a little while. <laughs> <laughs> I've let the scoreboard, my scoreboard duties slip a little bit. It's definitely 11, potentially 12. We'll wait for, yeah, 12-7. Or 12, 6 maybe. Yep. 12, 6. Number 15. <laughs> it's not easy keeping score. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the Rex and Mike doing a great job on TV getting this stream together. Nick and I are just sitting in. Sitting and watching, really. Talking. Not a great. Not a pretty easy job. Yeah. <laughs> they did well to show up this morning, despite daylight savings, despite a disappointing loss for Adelaide yesterday. Yeah. Which we try not to talk about. Sorry for bringing it up. <laughs> He's over. Mark's looking at next year. <laughs> Blame the referees. They are... <laughs> Yeah, daylight saving crept up on us all a bit, I the, think. Uh, our bus was like <laughs> suspected yeah. daylight savings mishap this morning. Arva lets that one drift. Or oh, maybe not the smartest decision. Because she's cramped in the end zone. Oh, that is Callahan country. Carpenter does well to keep it. Some great alliteration there, guys. <laughs> Intentional or not. Fantastic. <coughs> Holly Reeve with the reset. Oh. Really good inside from yeah. Reeve. Mueller may be looking to huck it and does. I'm going to stop alliterating. And Yelenik in pursuit. Ooh. Ooh. Kind of lays out, kind of falls over. But good bit anyway. Big throw from Mueller. Gee, that yeah. was a lot of a bit too much angle on that one. Just needed to come out a little bit flatter. Yeah, it's a bit too much. Soot. A little bit more. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, oh my oh, goodness. That's a... Let it play. Both players yeah, get up. They both get okay. up. Mercer does well despite Mueller's heavy contact. Cosby gets it up the line. Looking for Reisner or Svenston. Either will do. Svenston will take it. Hannigan in pursuit. Can't quite get there. Fantastic throw and a great grab. It's been great play from the New Zealanders. It has. Moving into 13. Six inching a little bit closer to that 15 point point cap. The... Uh, Single glove being worn there by. Yeah, good thing she had gloves on. Could have mm. fumbled it otherwise. That's right. You ever want it? Yeah. <laughs> Mike's saying he wished the grand final was best of three. <laughs> and that there were no refs. And the Adelaide won. <laughs> Basketball style of the series. I don't think it would go well without refs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of contested calls in, in <laughs> AFL that refs, I reckon. Shout out, shout out to ADL. Off the refs. Hashtag, <laughs> Hashtag wrong direction. I tend to agree with you on that one there, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, wh while we're on the issue of ADL, seven seconds still. How do you feel, Nick? No, oh, it's silly. It's too fast. They're selling oh. out. They're selling out. It's a man. bullet from Ryzen. It's going to hit someone. Oh, nearly Lockie White. Did well to keep his wits about him. He's got fast reflexes, that boy. <laughs> still might be a little slow coming off last night. But, uh. <laughs> it's um, Osman picking up the disc. It's a tight zone. I'm sure that's three meters. Definitely not three metres now. Oh, oh nice. Does well to get it away. Chanstrom. Birchett. Chanstrom again. No, Birchett again. Working it well. Goes to Holly Reeve now. Emery's Ooh. in a bit of space. Just looks for the hammer. There's Carpenter a bit of space winds there. it up. There it is. Mercedes through the gap. <laughs> uh, a bit stuck. Oh, not sure there were any revolutions on that frisbee from Mercedes. Osman now with the disc, confidently breaks through that cup. That's a great throw over to Sophie, the basketballer. 
Carpenter. <laughs> Carlo doing his best basketball impression. Oh. Carpenter back to Sophie. Slam dunks that throw oh. through the cup. Unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> just gonna now Kron's in on the action. Fortunate. Hillary picking up the frisbee there. Halliday streaking deep. Hillary Sheridan. Send us the frisbee. To Mance. And again, we have the uh, straight up look from Tara here, just trying to stop that big game. Oh, that's he a goes high up disc. in the air, a couple of chases, but uh, it's brought down by number 19 there. Lucy Parsons brings it down. Mance is looking. Oh, it's a great dump cut. She gets it up the line in power position. Look at yeah, the Yeah, big flick over goes. the right side. It's got oh, Holly Holly underneath it. Yeah. She's going to pick it up and throw it. That's what we all want. Kron wants it. I'm not sure if you can hear him yelling boost. Someone eventually boosts it, but to the wrong player. Oh, an immediate turn, and someone's oh boosted it. That's a yeah. great boost. It's a great boost. And it is. Georgia Burchard, some of the best hair, according to Nick Lelly. And yeah. that's, a, that's high praise from Nick Lelly. Oh, no. With the dreads. It's great to see. That was such an interesting point. Turnover, turnover, goal. It's high octane ultimate. It's hey, electric Nick, stuff. Nick, I don't mean to alarm you, mate, yeah. but your entire team is warming up. Oh, yes, that, that would be my uh, <laughs> calling card to go warm up. So uh, thanks very much for having me, hey, Gus. Absolutely no worries. On your way, yeah. just grab Lockie White, send him Oh, yeah, <laughs> sure, will do. what the people we'll want. Do. And uh, see you later, everyone. Yep, Thank thanks, you very much, Gus. Thanks for Gus. joining us, Nick. Good luck yeah. in your game later Thank on. you. Oh, Lucky White saunters over to the to the country box. This is going to be exciting. Don't go anywhere. 13-7 is the current score. Lucky White's been given the call up. How are you, Lucky? Yeah, good, Gussie. How are you, mate? Yeah, good, thanks. Beautiful day. Beautiful day here in Sydney. Excellent game going on at the moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounding a little bit worse for wear, Lucky. Yeah, yeah, a bit, a bit under the weather, but I'll see. You. I'll do the best I can. Yeah, I know, Cron. Cron's shocked. Everyone's shocked the Lucky White's here in the commentary box. But everyone's a bit happy to see some great frisbee. It is 13-7. It is Crosby to receive the disc. Straight up to Doyle. Strong New Zealand hand is the handlers. The Australian coming out in that poach. D. Look, Della getting across to Crosby. Forcing it back into the middle. Piercing throw. Mueller picks it up. I was going to wind it up, I reckon, Lucky. Yeah, it's a really great look there. I think the throw is just a little oh, bit off. Great grab, despite the pressure of Crosby there from Della. Mueller, get another great grab. Can we see a third great grab in a row? Oh, we sure can. Can we make it four? That was pretty good. Two lovely offense there by the Australians. Mueller really dominating there. Getting the D and throwing some lovely throws. It's great to see. Great fast disc movement from the Australians. Some great grabs in there as well. As you see in the replay. This is the first one. Della, oh, wow, that's a fantastic grab. Wait for it. Grab number two is coming up. Mueller Hannigan here. Oh, another great grab. And Della's just going to close it off with a nice clap catch. That poach D there, look, they're really forcing a bad option by the New Zealanders. <laughs> allowing Mueller to run through and get that day. It's really good D by the Australians. So, Lucky White, tell us a bit about yourself, mate. Uh, I've been playing for a couple of years. Uh, played on the last juniors team uh, over in Poland and uh, playing with bench and calf at the moment for oh, nice. men's and mixed. Very Who cool. Saw? Very cool. Feeling good about mixed nats? Uh, yeah, feeling pretty good about mixed nats. Looking good. Some um, high caliber pickups? Yeah. Some of the boys and girls out here today will be playing, which is quite exciting. Yeah. Uh, Holly Reeve? Holly Reeve. Calf team member. Very excited to play with Stingray her. Stingray team member. Very talented young player. I have a waving... Mm, I'm not sure if it was at me, no, but I might I claim it. I don't think so there, Gus. Oh, waving at the camera. Oh, okay. Okay. Saying hi to mum and dad. <laughs> Hello to Mr. and Mrs. Mueller. <laughs> Very nice people. Very hospitable. <laughs> Mueller with the disc. If you are watching the stream, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, you can, can't 
tweet in Max anymore because he's not here today. You can I'm sure you could. Oh, you could. could. Uh, it wouldn't get to me, though. Great pull from Arva. Deep in the end zone for Crosby. One-handed catch. You don't see that very often, do you, Lucky? No, it's a very brave pull catch there, but it worked well. Sheridan with the disc now. They got a deep look now. That's yes, a uh, punts it. Sunny Zhao in space, but I think she's run too far. Mueller steams through. I'm just going to send it to Holly Reeve, which is what the crowd want to see. Holly up against Crosby. Does a great read there. Nearly milks it into the end zone. <laughs> Throws it in instead to Emery. Hey, Lucky White. I think we've got a game on our hands. I think right? we do here, Gussie. 13 9. It's a really difficult throw there by the New Zealand's. Uh, right into the wind on the flick side. So it was a good read there by Mueller. And then a lovely shot downfield to Holly Reeve. Australians clawing it back. It is 2 0 in the series at the moment. But I, th I reckon the Terror Girls would love to leave it as 2 1. Oh, the Terror Girls are calling a timeout, apparently, according to Karan. So. Have a bit of downtime here, Lockie, to discuss the upcoming games. The next game is the Australia Air Development Squad, and after that, we'll be seeing the Thunder Boys take on Catapo for the series. It is one all in that series at the moment. How are you feeling about it? Quite excited. I do get to play against the uh, Australia Air Boys in the screen, uh, one good. of the local opposition. So that should be exciting. Bring your cleats. Yeah, I did bring my cleats. Lockie um, White's cleating up, everyone. I think. Uh, get down to Callum Park if you can. I think the Thunder game should be really exciting. The boys looked really strong yesterday. Really turned it on. No doubt. Had some very tight games. Some great athletic players there by the Thunder boys. Really exciting. Sure have. The future of Youth Ultimate in Australia is bright. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> we've got, we got a spectator asking what's going on. So we have a three-match series. This is the third match of the three-match series. Uh, New Zealand won the first two. So this, is, this one is uh, not for the title, but at 12 noon, if you want to stick around, the, uh, the Thunder boys, the, the Australian boys, are playing the New Zealand boys. It's uh, one apiece in that series. So it'll be a bit exciting, a bit of a grand final. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great. Sounds good. Alright, Lucky White, talk to me. Oh, stop talking to me because I've just seen an absolute spectacle. I've seen, are you ready for this? Ben Sutas. Hashtag Ask Sutas. He's just entered the playing arena. Can you see him over there? I can. It's exciting times, Gussie. Very elite athlete come down, I guess, to scrim. He is. He will be scrimming today against the Australia boys, uh, which is quite exciting. Provide some high quality opposition for the young boys. It's a fast man, Ben Sutas. Fa fastest man in. Well, I don't want to make any big claims, but he's pretty fast. Don't want to lock myself into anything, lucky. Great. Do you reckon you're faster than him, Gus? No. Oh. Depends. Is he injured? No. Okay, probably not then. Am I injured? Yes. Yeah, definitely not then. So, Gussie, what do you think the uh, Australia girls are going to come out in for this point on defence? On defence? Look, I'd be surprised if they didn't do that same poachy uh, underlook, which they've been doing. Bit, mm. of a bit of a help. D set. It's, uh, it's, it's really good at uh, stopping those first initiating cuts. It is. Although the New Zealand girls have been quite good about threading those passes through. Mm -hmm. Holly Reeve with the pull. She can give it a rip. Big rip from Holly. Nice floater. It's going to be received by Thompson. Might drift out. No, Thompson's going to catch it. Oh, great rundown as well. Straight down there. Yeah, I think this is closer to a match D look than we've seen Lockie. Maybe a bit poachy. Raz in the lane. And it is quite working quite well here. The New Zealanders are forcing them to look at their resets a lot. Not a lot of movement downfield. Yep. Crosby and Reisner really, really crammed to the back there, but a great throw from Reisner opens it up a bit. Crosby looking to get every second. He's probably going to look to swing now, though. Oh. Thompson in a bit of space out on this sideline if they can get it to her. But it's Lucy Parsons for the time being. Back to Crosby. Parsons. Wants something to happen. Sent with just dishing it to Crosby. New Zealanders look pretty happy to walk it in. Go, 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 
Rising with the disc now. Sivanovic has peeled away from a defender deep in the end zone. They're not going to look for it. Crosby, Reisner, Parsons happy to work it around at the back. Liddell's getting in on the action. Oh, another great pass from Ryzen. That high release is very hard to stop. Crosby, we know she doesn't mind a hammer, Lockie. Oh, great grab from Liddell in traffic. Oh, patient from the New Zealanders. Over to Parsons. Thompson now starting to open it up. Oh, Thompson squeezes it back through the gap. To Sivanovic for another catch. And that's Ooh, gorgeous offense by the New Zealanders. <laughs> it's gorgeous really, offense. Really, really patient there. Patience, that's what we want. And, they, and the, uh, the, New, the Australian poachers in the lane were quite deep, allowing the New Zealanders to kind of have those small inside the mm -hmm. high release backhands. Just work up the little yeah. passes, and it, uh, it's paid off. Really effective there. Great offense. Ben Sitash just having a look. <laughs> he waved. <laughs> having a wave. I'll just tick over that scoreboard. 14-9. Yeah. Which, of course, means, Lockie, it's the best time of the game. We get to see a soft dab from the game advisors because ah. it is game point. Big fan of the dab? Uh, not a full dab. Don't mind a half dab though. Ah, okay. I just like seeing Woody do it to be honest. <laughs> the leader of our great sport. <laughs> so what are your thoughts here on the New Zealand defence, Gus? On the downwinders, what do you think they're going to run? Do you think it'll be a straight, uh, a straight, a match defense, or maybe a bit of poachy zone? Look? Well, they've been playing a zone with some success the last few points. Okay. Uh, I'd be surprised if they didn't do it again. Yeah, it makes sense. But hey, what do I know? A lot. Thanks, Lockie. We'll just take this opportunity for shout out number five to Oscar and Ella, Ian Stewart's kids, head coach in New Zealand. We've, we've been asked to give them a bit of a shout out. Been watching at home from New Zealand. Great pull up now. Can be received by Mueller. She's played the last few points. Doesn't have a lot doing for her. Mercedes and Holly collide in the stack. Mercedes shrugs off her teammate to get the disc. Finds Presley now. Sasha Presley with an attempt at inside. Unfortunately, doesn't quite come off. It's Doyle with the disc. Back to Reisner. Watch this uh, high release, Lockie. Oh, Arva oh. Mueller with a great run through D on Mercer. Immediate swing over to Holly Reeve. I think Arva's going to want to get this one. I think she wants the bookends. Oh, Reeve tries to thread the needle to Joyce, but just not enough on it. Into a little bit of traffic there, Gus. Yeah, into a little Very bit of traffic. Baron Halliday with the disc. Looks off Svensson. Oh, finds Reisner. Heading into Calhoun country here, Lockie. My favourite country. Great defense by the Australians. Get the turn. Yeah, from, from pressure, I think, there. Forcing a very difficult throw. throw. That leading throw up win. No doubt. Mueller with the disc. Holly Reeve bolts deep. Doesn't come. Bolts break side. Also doesn't come, but it does go up. Body's under it. Doyle comes down with it. And they have a few players deep, the New Zealanders. Back to Abby Liddell. We know she has that flick bomb. Which I think we're going to see here, Lockie. Uh, not quite. Just out of reach of Sunny Zhao and Svensson there. Cole Svensson. Mueller walking to the disc. Cool, calm and collected. Looking for Reeve, I reckon. Nah. Looking for Halliday. New Zealand has come back. Going the other way. Doyle gets it off. Halliday is having a very active point. Reeve on her now. Mercedes gets turned by Svensson, but the pass is not complete. The Australians have another crack. What are we going to see here, Lockie? I think Mercedes going to the end zone will be the look here. I think so too, because Holly pointed. Oh, but she's going to hit Joyce instead. Back to Mueller. Whoa, a huge bit from Svensson. Mercedes grabs it despite that. Osman drifts into the lane. A few options on the break side here if Reeve can hit it. But holsters, Mueller points. Osmond cramped, hits Mercedes. Also a bit stuck now. New Zealand are putting a poach in the lane, which means Australia have trouble looking for those downfield looks. Yeah, Reeve to Mueller. 
Again, that the connection they wanted. Again, that inside not coming off, Gussie. Just not. It's a very difficult throw it is. when uh, your players are already on the break side. You really want to be throwing that out into clear space, open pastures. Sunny's out now with the disc for New Zealand. Farron Halliday streaking deep. Reeve is there, though. It's got Reeve written all over it. It's Reeve bread and butter. You are. Mercedes making a bit of a cut. There's the Reeve, though. Mercedes is kind of jogging and pointing at the moment. It's going to be a difficult catch. Jeez, Svensson got up just then. It's a great jump. Rise, though. Hucks it straight away. But Reeve's there. That's dangerous. She's going to come down with it. Difficult throw to receive there for the New Zealanders. Waiting away from the thrower towards the sideline. You know, with the just now, Holly in the dump space. You maybe want to get one of them drifting downfield, Lockie. See if they can finish out this point. Holly, seemingly psychic, listens to my suggestion. Not really cutting though, just kind of loitering deep. Halliday on her shoulder, Reeve catches it. She's got Mercedes streaking deep. Reeve holsters. No, she doesn't. She jacks it. To Rachel Joyce, oh, that is a great grab in traffic from Rachel Joyce, 14-10. Gee, how about that one, Lockie? How to grind that one up by the Australians. Go Lots grind. Of turns on that point, but I think they did quite well. And that is the novelty car horn, which we're using as a time cap siren. Not sure if you heard that one, uh, but that means that time cap is gone. So game to 15, Gus. Well, game to 15 anyway, in, in a way, yeah. in a way. Uh, but still good to be aware of the time, I suppose. It is. It's been a long game. My well, watches are so popular. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you do with daylight saving this morning, Lockie? Nick not and I were talking about it before. Not well, Gus. Uh, I, <laughs> promised, hey. I promised that I would be here at 9am for the girls' game. <laughs> and I sorted in about 10.30. I woke up at set, well, my oh, mic clock 7.45 7 for a <laughs> lot of time. Checked my phone then and I realised I was running quite late. So, uh, not yeah. too well there, Gus. What about you? Got a goodie. Yeah, it was, well, it was a bit hard, wasn't it? Yeah. But one hour less sleep is never good. Yeah. Yep. So what do you think Australia has to do here to bring it back, Gus? They've got to score five points to uh, rotate this game. They've got to go on a big roll, obviously. I think the key to that, we've seen for Terra, is a big rundown, a big pull, a big rundown, putting a lot of pressure on those first passes. Yeah, definitely. And do you think they'll run that poachy look in the, in the lane again there, Gus? Sure. I reckon. Hey, Arva. Great point there from Arva. And Shaz. Shaz, bit of a, bit of a sunscreen heckle there from Shannon Carpenter. That's pretty good. Big huck from Downey. No, sorry, not sure who pulled that. Not sure why I locked in Downey. Mercer on the disc. Hits Crosby in flow. Crosby, very powerful handler. Oh, finds Parsons with a good full extension grab. No, New Zealand is creeping closer to that doorstep. An apology there for Crosby. Oh, Mercer really on the doorstep now. Touching the doorbell, I reckon. Hand poised to knock. And they're inside. Inside the victory. That's it. That's the game. That is the game. 15-10, the final score. The New Zealanders come away with the series 3-0. Fantastic work there from Kahu. A great series as well from Southern Terra. Uh, great campaign, as Nick, and I, as Nick and I were talking about a bit earlier, Lockie. Uh, this is... Obviously a, a huge moment, but it's uh, not the end of the campaign right. for, for these guys. They're looking towards World Juniors, so it'd be great to see them uh, continue to develop. Don't go anywhere. Coming up soon on the live stream, we're going to have the final of the uh, Australian Boys and New Zealand Boys series that is currently closed at One Piece. There is another one before that. Yes, there is the Australia A Development Team Games. I better, I better clear up for that, Gus. <laughs> Lucky White's going to go clear up. I'm going to retire the headphones, go for a walk. Yep, stick around.